So today's trend, like you read in the title, it's sport utility, and it's a little bit techy as well, so I'm calling this one Sport 2.0. I know, this is like probably the weakest name that I've ever come up with, but it's fine. We're just gonna roll with it. We're just gonna get into all of the nitty gritty of the trend. I'm kinda, I like dressed up for you guys. It's very much this. Like I said, it's like very futuristic. There's either like a futuristic vibe to it. There's a nostalgic vibe to this like sports thing in terms of like track suits. It can be, you know, very like 1970s tracksuit, but then it could also be very 2000 Juicy Couture tracksuit. Another big thing of this trend is like logo mania. I'm kind of like sticking it with this because I feel like Tommy Hilfiger is kind of like that streetwear, kind of sporty fila. And then there's also like Burberry, which is turning a little bit more of like that sportswear as well. And then Fendi as well, very logo mania. Supreme, Louis Vuitton. We're just seeing a lot of logos pop up a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> so that is a big part of this trend. Very, very reminiscent of the 1990s like repeat logo. Some other key components to this trend. We're still seeing a lot of cargo. There's a lot of workwear influence in this. So like think Carhartt, think Dickies, even boiler suit. There's a lot of things that are inspired by things that are like actually on the street. So like literally streetwear. <laughs> that bright, um, you know, like construction worker orange is huge or like the cone orange. It's very, very huge for this trend or even like the yellow or the crosswalk, like the off-white. This is very huge. So it's very much inspired by pavements, traffic signs, futuristic detailing as well, like a lot of exposed zippers, huge um, oversized either grommets or these kind of, uh, what are these called, like O-rings hardware, I guess you can say. I'm really, really loving this updated take on like athleisure because for a minute I was getting a little bit bored with just like hoodies. So hoodies are now being paired with things that are a little bit more fancy, like a tweed jacket. I think I've mentioned this in another trends video. It's more of like a dressed up vibe. We have seen this definitely for sure in the past, but now it's becoming more and more popular. So it's kind of hitting that like peak mark. There's also a lot of exaggeration in this trend so I had mentioned a long time ago I think this was like two years ago like two falls ago that they were like these elongated sleeves and it was very much like that Yeezy season vet mott kind of look so it's still very much exaggerated the jackets are baggy the silhouettes are baggy and I feel like that's very reminiscent of like the 1990s as well like you know when people would sag their jeans I'm like we're expected to swoon I don't think so. That's very much making a comeback again. Oversized denim jackets. The denim is like very, very dark with very white stitching. You know the ones that I'm talking about. I'm sure there's a name for it and I'm like forgetting everything right now. And also chunky sneakers. So chunky sneaker, sneakers I mentioned as a fad. The one that I was using the grocery store as my runway to show you guys some like very trendy items. So like the dad shoe, the dad sneaker, the chunky sneaker. Now every designer is having um, that chunky sneaker. I think before it was like Balenciaga. Every major designer has like a super chunky sneaker. Margiela, Versace, Burberry, um, yeah, I mean, of course, Balenciaga and Gucci had already had those, like, chunkier sneakers as well. I really like the Gucci ones with, like, the rhinestone thing. How cra- I can't believe I like that. I don't know, I'm being- I'm being super brainwashed by the fashion industry. I've been seeing it too much where I'm like, that's so cool. And then also a big part of this, which I also talked about in that same grocery store <laughs> video, was, like, the little small Matrix glasses. So, I feel like that is very- like I said, Matrix and like techie, futuristic. We're still seeing a lot of that on the runway, which we saw at Miu Miu, Off-White, and Balenciaga. And then like also color blocking in a more techie vibe, futuristic vibe, Tron kind of vibe. Fly me to the moon. We saw that in Marnie, Prada, Versace, and then also part of this trend I think that's also pretty big is hiking boots. Hiking boots are the next big thing. I think we're kind of seeing a little bit of people using this trend right now. The most fashion forward and we're going to be seeing this trend a lot more I think in the future as well. I don't know if you guys follow Shia's outfits on Instagram and he's been wearing a lot of those like hiking boots. I actually have some because I went to Peru. So I'm the reason why it's becoming bigger is because hiking in general is becoming a big thing. I don't know if it's because I live in California, but 
No, I don't think so. I think there is this like increased interest in hiking all of a sudden. I don't know. I've been seeing it a lot lately. Like a lot of off-grid kind of travel that's big right now. So maybe that's why it's being introduced. Or maybe it was Shia LaBeouf. I don't know. And Kanye and stuff. So like those Palladium boots, even Wellington boots and sneaker boots are in. All with that kind of tread sole. So... Those are all very much, I feel like, in this trend because it's a little bit worker, a little bit utility, a little bit even like Moon Man futuristic. It all kind of like vibes together. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into how I styled this into my own fall wardrobe. So usually I just kind of like already have the outfits put together as you guys saw in my other trend videos. If you haven't seen those yet, I will leave them linked below. So I just wanted to kind of bring you guys with me through my process, how I go about styling these outfits. If you're trying to experiment with fashion, I feel like that's what these trend videos are really intended to do. Like I say, you don't have to go for every trend. It's just all about how you kind of make it your own. I hope it'll help you out. That's why I'm doing it, right? My personal philosophy when it comes to style, I like to incorporate a little bit of the classic pieces, a little bit of vintage. I feel like gives it a really cool vibe as well and then still play with the trend to keep it fresh keep it modern I mainly try to do accessories but if I feel like there is a certain trend that really really fits my style or if I want to have that look like create a full-on look then I'll dip into more of those trendy pieces so I separated out what I feel like is this sporty trend and we'll just go ahead and start styling to me like a look is like you're committing to the outfit you are head to toe like killing it slaying it and then there's also like my everyday I tend to stick to a lot of basic so I just will incorporate maybe a fanny pack so like for instance I'm just wearing a gray t-shirt some redone denim these are my favorite denim and if I want to have more of that utility vibe I can just add this you know it's kind of switching up the look and then maybe I want to go a little bit more even have like more of a style than just like a basic ass outfit, right? I never really like to look basic, but I do like basic items. So now, you know, I have this little Balenciaga hat. Balenciaga, I got it when I was in China, guys. And then this is like my personal touch. I love a gold hoop at the moment, so I feel like this is very like me. I'm staying true to myself. I feel like that's important when you're styling outfits so you always feel like you. But you can just elevate it in that way. I'm wearing like loafers, so maybe instead of a loafer, I want to elevate it a bit more. So I'll put on maybe something like this. And it's still giving me kind of this sporty utility look. And then if I want to make it more of a look, to go ahead and take off this shirt and I'm gonna add this shirt so this top I feel like is very much this trend it's oversized it has the yellow this is by the brand Lambert I actually have never heard of them I found it at Wasteland so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this shirt on I don't know I feel like it's it feels like me I like to have a little bit of um, stomach showing and then these like kind of long things are very much this trend too like you can think of off-white with those belts we're just gonna leave that and like I could again I could stop here this is to me it's still very everyday kind of basic nothing like wow you know like that girl has like super interesting style but it's still very me and I can just throw on maybe these Nike Air Force ones I feel like I would definitely change up my makeup so now I'm actually gonna change the jeans into this one so now now I feel like this is starting to be a look more street style more more of a statement I would say I'm gonna just add these boots again they were like my best in investment if you can call it that they weren't even that expensive they're by Steve Madden these kind of revamped vintage pants are very much in the style we got the yellow going it still pretty much feels me if I really wanted to elevate it even more throw on a little sunny like that and it's already like you know and it's already like elevating it to something else. Or I can do maybe these guys. These are like the full matrix. Hair and makeup, I would switch it up. I would do maybe like a naked face with just like glossy lids and a glossy lip. And then like my hair pulled back super high, super sleek. Or, you know, just kind of messy like this. I don't know. I feel like this makeup look 
it doesn't really suit this vibe, but it could, I guess. So now I feel like I'm going somewhere, I'm making a statement, it's still me, you know, it's like everything that I love in clothing, but it's a little bit more elevated, a little bit more fun, and I feel like it's totally like a trendy kind of an outfit, but I'm cool with it. It doesn't feel overstyled. Like say if I did this, right? Say if I put this on. Say if I put this Balenciaga hat again, say I put these little freaking glasses, right? This to me feels like a costume. It doesn't feel like me. I feel overstyled and like trying too hard. This is just my opinion, guys. You guys can do whatever you want. I'm just saying like I like to reel things in just a little bit because I like to look a little bit more like effortless and like I'm just throwing things on. Like even like this, I will still kind of like quit a bit. I think I would choose something a little bit more dressy and classy in terms of like my bag. Maybe something like this. It just feels like a little bit more polished and uh, cool. So that's kind of like how I go about creating looks. Now I want to just kind of show you what else I have on the rack because maybe these pieces will also inspire you. I'm not going to create outfits for everything or else we would be here literally all day. But I did want to just kind of go over some pieces that I think are fun. So I think this is like a fun way to kind of do the logo mania if you can't necessarily afford it right now. It's just kind of like funny and I freaking love Arthur, guys. <laughs> this piece I've literally owned forever. There's a lot of the trend that I was talking about. We got the orange on the inside. We have, I kind of feel like it looks, um, I mean, it's like that cargo utility vibe, all the exposed zippers, the hardware. I love this jacket. I wear it all the time. I've had it for years. I love this so much. It's from PacSun and it's that very 70s tracksuit vibe, like that retro. And then this one, I feel like it's more of like a spring piece, but I kind of just wanted to show you guys because these drawstrings are super popular for this trend as well. Like all these drawstring moments. I really love the way this looks with, like say you have like an all white outfit, right? If you do like a dad cap, Maybe some Air Force Ones. I love these. These are like my favorite sneaker right now. Besides those Reeboks, I can't freaking let go of those Reeboks. I love them to pieces. Kind of do that. I have some hoodies here to style. I really love the way like pink and army looks. I know you guys are like, girl, please try them on for me. But can you see how I'm struggling? Pair that with like a jean. Let me see, what shoes would I throw on with that? You know what, I actually got these boots recently from uh, Nasty Gal, and I think they are so cute. Something like that together, or even like a black pant or something, depending on the wash. I was talking about this moment, maybe like a black turtleneck under this Chanel-like tweed jacket. I love this one because it has like the denim detail. I freaking love denim. I got this when I was in Shanghai, which I will have a full video on the complete haul. So you guys will definitely see this again. Don't look too much because it is coming. So I thought it'd be kind of cool if you did. I feel like that could be like a cool elevated vibe. These are just like little shorts from H&M and it has that vibe that I was talking about. Um, very Alexander Wang, I feel like. You can do something like that. And then for the cold, I think it's cool. I know a lot of guys do this where they, they will layer their tighter spandex leggings with shorts on top. I love that look. So that's kind of like what I'm talking about. You can do something like that with this and then like literally just wear sneakers. This or you know like those sock booties like the Balenciagas. I know there's so many knockoffs of those if you don't want to like go for the Balenciaga ones. But I think something with a higher, like this one's actually cut out. But if you wear like the sock one with something like this, I think it'd be really dope. Why be basic? There's just so much cool clothes and cool things to choose from, right? I'm gonna show you an outfit that I styled with this one just right after this. So keep watching guys. And then this, um, this is just like a stylist tip if you guys want to be stylist. Don't ever use this pattern on a client. You see how it's like moire? It looks so cool in person, but on camera it never reads right. It does that like weird, like you're tripping out a little bit, right? Small patterns, don't use it on camera. <laughs> I loved how it kind of looked m like manly, but then this one is a skirt. You guys are gonna see it on. And then like I said, puffers are definitely huge for this trend. Still, puffers are still going strong. I love this one. I feel like I finally found one that fits me well. I'm so petite, guys. I'm like 5'1", and it fits me like a dream. So, shout out to Lulu's for sending me this. I love it. You guys will definitely see me styling that a lot more. Oh my gosh, I could be as pop. 
Okay. Aren't these so funny? Like literally, I wrote on my Instagram like, wear these to a Mexican party. Be prepared to get roasted. Utility jumpsuits are definitely a thing as well. We have this guy by Nasty Gal. You guys are gonna see that in my Western video. Oh, you guys know the next trend coming up is Western. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw me wearing this. So many, so much love on it. So thank you guys. If you commented on those and then this one I will show you guys shortly too it's a bit wrinkled but um you guys will kind of get the idea I love this it's by storage this is what I'm talking about the utilities like little boiler jumpsuits ghostbusters beware oh yeah like accessories and stuff I feel like accessories always makes a big difference look at this cutie this used to be my sister's this is like all she could afford I guess this little one <laughs> At least she could afford this one. I couldn't afford a little one. If you guys have one, let's try to bring them back. I challenge you. Post them. Post them on your Instagram. Maybe if the sporty vibe isn't really your thing, you can still have fun with like the glasses, maybe the shoes. There's so many cool sneakers right now having a moment. At first I was like, why did I? Why did I buy these? It's like the dumbest purchase and I've worn them actually so much. So I love them. Let me know if you guys like this kind of talk through of styling so I can continue to do it or if you guys just want to see the outfits laid out. Let me know. So this is that small print plaid outfit that I just showed you paired with the little Dooney and Burke purse that was my sister's. I paired it with these glasses. I love all the play on the brown tones. I was feeling the browns. This outfit and then the head scarf is a little play on the Fendi print. I feel like it's very reminiscent of Fendi. And then I just paired it with these Reebok classic vintage kind of sneakers. I'm obsessed with these and I have been for the past year. So that is my take on a little like streetwear logo mania bit. But moving on to the next outfit, it's this Tommy Hilfiger sweater that is super popular. These like collared, I mean, I feel like this is so early 2000s. And I paired it with these darker denims with that contrasting stitch like I mentioned. With these white pointy boots that have this exposed zipper, I feel like it's super like sporty streetwear, kind of like how I would do streetwear. Um, and then I paired it with that utility bag that you guys saw and these like funky yellow glasses that I've been literally wearing for years. <laughs> that I have to say about this sport 2.0 trend. I really hope you guys enjoyed this trend video and look forward to the next one. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you made it to the end, you're the real MVP, no pun intended. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.